Coming in, the gates closed. They're all set for the big cap. And oh, away they go to a perfect beginning. Event of the year on the grandstand side and Dr. Fong in the green cap. There goes Freehouse, the grey one from the rail and Silver Chalmers right there at the rail. He's going to drop in just behind him. Puerto Madero is getting a perfect position in fifth, just three lengths off these leaders. And the long shot Sidon is the early trailer. Past the stands first time round in the big cap and Freehouse just loping along at the rail, pricking his ears back and forth as is Dr. Fong up alongside of him, but they crawling for a grade one. Racing in just behind them comes Silver Charm and Silver Charm sees a hole between Dr. Fong and Freehouse. He's going to move in up there and put some pressure on those leaders. Event of the year is racing in fourth. He's only two and a half off the leaders. Down at the rail comes Puerto Madero. He's now four and a half off them and another four back to the long shot Sidon. They've quickened the pace just a little as they move on to the back stretch. Freehouse, Chris McCarran takes a peep back. He must be happy with proceedings. Dr. Fong is on the outside of him. They still stride for stride as they run to the half mile. Event of the year is now up to take the third spot. Silver Charm is still right there in fourth. Those four locked together, only two lengths separate them. Puerto Madero has now been asked to pick it up in fifth and Sidon is eight off the leaders. Going to the three-eighth pole and now there goes Event of the Year on the outside. And Event of the Year is going to tackle Dr. Fong and Freehouse. Three of them in a line with a quarter of a mile to go. Silver Charm has now been asked to pick it up. But the whip's coming out on Silver Charm. He's laboring a little in the fourth spot. At the top of the lane, Event of the Year and Freehouse. These two battling it out. Silver Charm's not done. He's coming out on the outside. Homeward bound in the big cap. Freehouse at the rail, Event of the Year alongside, Silver Charm plugging away in third, but Freehouse and Chris McCarran going to take the big cap, Freehouse wins it half a length to Event of the Year, Silver Charm, Dr. Fong was fourth, then Puerto Madero, and the long shot Sidon finish last. So Freehouse, our unofficial winner, two minutes, .67, with Chris McCarron aboard, owners Trudy McCaffrey and John Toffin. Second big cap win. Unofficial, of course, for Chris McCarron. Jay, let's take a look at the stretch run. This is about as exciting a stretch run as you are ever going to see. Freehouse, well, Chris McCarron put him onto the lead early. He's fighting off event of the year here. And then Silver Charm, who looked like he was dropping back at the top of the stretch, makes a belated run, but, Silver, but Freehouse holding off all challengers down to the wire, and he wins it with a jubilant Chris McCarron raising the whip with his left hand. And speaking of jubilant, look at Trudy McCaffrey and John Toffin, the owners of this horse, cheering this horse as they come to the wire. So Freehouse, the unofficial winner, jockey Chris McCarron. How was the trip? Tell us about it. Ah, oh, boy. Chris, can you hear us? Yeah, just barely. How was the trip? Oh, the trip was very exciting. He broke, he broke in the air a little bit, and I got after him, and he got his good position out of there like he usually does. And he just went into a canter when he went by the 16 pole the first time around. And I was able to slow the pace down pretty comfortably. So Chris McCarron aboard Freehouse, our unofficial winner, and for trainer Paco Gonzalez 31 years ago, he watched his brother pilot Mr. Wright to victory in the big cap, and today it is his time. Number three, Freehouse, taking the 62nd Santa Anita handicap and we'll return to chat with the winning connections right after this We're heading towards the winner's circle as we take a look at the official results and prices the winner freehouse paying 10 20 5 20 and 280 in second Event of the year, 540 and 280, and the show horse Silver Charm paying 220, the one dollar exacta, 2440. And Silver Charm's rider Gary Stevens is standing by with Kate and Bradar. Kate? Well, Gary was up close early on, then kind of dropped back and came on again for you in the stretch. Tell us about the trip. Well, he didn't drop back much. Uh, Freehouse ran a great race. Uh, uh, Chris controlled the pace up there. They weren't going very fast for this class of horse, and. Uh, really started running going into the turn. I think that's where they're talking about the Cindy drop back. Uh, that was a 
just a matter of the, the leaders accelerating uh, better than my horse did. He put in another nice run at the quarter pole. Uh, looked like he was dropping back again. He ran a little sporadic today. Why he's doing this, I don't know. He did lay up closer today, but it was a slow pace. Uh, I'm, I'm pleased with his race, but, you know, I don't think uh, it's not what he was last year. And uh, whether he'll get back his old form or not, I don't know. I'll just keep our fingers crossed. But uh, today, hats off to Freehouse. He's an old warrior. He ran great today. Big cap wasn't the charm this time around, but an exciting finish nonetheless. Thanks, Gary. Kenny? Thank you. So, Silver Charm unable to pull it out on Gary Stevens' 36th birthday. Chris McCarron did with Freehouse. Ron, your thoughts on well, the race? Well, the rivalry continues. This was just a truly exciting race all the way down to the finish. As we expected beforehand, there wasn't a lot of pace in this race. And uh, with Puerto Madero, no excuses. He just didn't fire today. Jay? take us through the race. Well, the key points in here are the start, first of all. Here is Freehouse breaking out of the number three stall. Silver Charm is in the number one right here. And as they come out of the gate, what you'll see is Silver Charm is going to break very sharply here to establish an early position. Freehouse kind of tossed his head a little bit at the start and was outbroken by Event of the Year. But Corey Nakatani on the outside is restraining Event of the Year. And what that does is it allows Freehouse, number three, to now move between horses and get to the front. So by the time the horses got to the first turn, Event of the Year, or rather Freehouse, had established himself as the leader, and Dr. Fong, surprisingly, is laying second at this point as we move now. The, this is a head-on shot of the horses coming under the wire the first time and then moving into the first turn. So you've got Freehouse along the inside. Dr. Fong is second right now and Silver Charm third along the rail. And as they come around the final turn and move into the home stretch, Freehouse has now been able to take advantage. Here is Freehouse on the inside. Here is Event of the Year on the outside. And what happens is that Chris McCarron has been able to dictate the pace throughout, and he's got plenty of horse left for this grueling stretch run. Freehouse along the inside. First, he's got to fight off Event of the Year. Dr. Fong in the green is dropping back, and you'll see Silver Charm coming into your picture at the very last second, but it is too late for the gallant California-bred Freehouse under Chris McCarron. He's the winner of the 62nd Big Cap. Our official order of finish. Freehouse, of course, the winner. Second Big Cap victory for Chris McCarron in 17 career mounts, followed by Event of the Year, Silver Charm, Dr. Fong, Puerto Madero, and Sidon. So congratulations to Freehouse and Chris McCarron will return to chat with the winning connections Chris McCarron et al. in just a moment. Welcome back to Santa Anita once again a look at the official results. Freehouse is our winner followed by Event of the Year and Silver Charm as we toast the winners and the winning connection standing by. Let's first go to Jed. Thank you very much, Kenny. Standing by with Chris McCarron, John Toffin, and Trudy McCaffrey, and trainer Paco Gonzalez. And first of all, Chris McCarron, you established this horse's uh, position going into the first turn. Take us through the race, if you would. Well, he kind of took a little hop at the start, Jay, and then uh, he. But once he once he felt his feet firmly on the ground, he cut with me and, and secured a nice position in the first eighth of a mile. And. When I crossed over in front of Silver Charm, uh, I was able to go ahead and slow the pace down very comfortably. I was surprised to see Dr. Fong up alongside of me. I was going to ask if you were, if you knew at that point that you must have been going pretty slow if you had a horse like Dr. Fong next to you at that point. That's a good indication. Although I, it felt like we were crawling. The time was 23:47. That's not really fast, but it's not crawling either. He felt like he went half a half mile in 50 today. <laughs> How big is it to win the Sanity the Handicap? You'd only done it once previously with Ali Sheba. You get your second one today. This just validify, uh, validates that 17 is my lucky number. This was my 17th big cap, and I got my second big cap on the 17th. I, I got married on the 17th. That's why it's my lucky number. This is definitely your lucky number and your lucky day. We'll let you go because you've got to ride the next race. Chris, congratulations. John Toffin and Trudy McCaffrey, you said last summer that the Pacific Classic was the biggest win of your career for this horse. Does this top it? I think so. I mean, this just sets us up for the rest of the year, and we finally beat that other gray horse. When we won uh, the Pacific Classic, he wasn't in the race, but... We turned the tables today. He ran great. Well, this makes it three wins and five losses against Silver Charm, but a sweet victory. And Trudy, as they were coming down the stretch, you were giving it your all, weren't you, cheering for him? I rode hard. I rode really hard today. And, you know, I don't take anything away from any horse in the race. They all ran great. And I agree with John. Silver Charm's won a lot of races, so it was nice for the big free boy to, you know, meet his old rival and beat him today. This is like a child for you, isn't it? You get real emotional when this horse runs. Very emotional. I think, too, it answers the questions of whether or not this horse can run a mile and a quarter. 
Paco, a tremendous training job with this horse. I, my hat's off to you. Was he training as good into this race as any of his other races? Yes, uh, I was telling Chris, and even you know, Chris, when the last work to give him, uh, he was training the way he was when he went to the Pacific Classic. I said, Chris, he's going to run big because the horse he was training beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and what about, is this the biggest win, do you think, for you also, or the Pacific Classic, they're pretty even? Well, uh, I think this race is more, you know, more special race. I know Pacific Classic is a nice race, but it's not a near handicap, it's very special. What do you think is going to be next for this horse now? I don't know, first we got to see him, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks, uh, congratulations again, guys. Kenny, we'll throw it to you. All right, thanks very much, Ron. Freehouse earning 20 points in our Fox Super Series as a result of his victory today, 12 points to a